Hey everybody, it's Basic Sorgonomics. I'm Michael Sorg, at Sorgatron on the Twitter on this April 1st, 2015. That's right, it's April Fool's Day. And I know it's gotten to the point where a lot of people kind of lament this. And I know people were starting already last night as we hit midnight, as we're uh, going towards it. Uh, last night on the on the podcast day, uh, you know, doing Wrestling Mayhem show and such last night. Um, and... Uh, and, 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 and they say, don't trust anything you read today, because that's when the stuff comes out. That's when we saw like live action Zelda movies coming out. You saw a trailer that somebody spent a lot of time putting together as a fan film. They were like, this is completely going to be the movie. And you're like, what is? No, no. And we don't need something like that this year because Nintendo has already been toying with their emotions. Actually, Nintendo is doing a uh, Nintendo Direct today, which there is their kind of press conference announcement things that they put out as a streaming video package. Uh, so there's that. Um, so so what, what do I think of uh, uh, April Fool's Day? Well, I think I like it. I like the jokester day, um, as long as it's not Unless it's not mean spirited, you know, um, and especially as far as tech and websites go, uh, you know, I don't mind like some of these having a lot of fun with this. Like oh, this was interesting. I, I I got this one when I was going through my feed this morning, um, and it's very you know very clever, very I don't know. They're just having fun and kind of trolling the the people out there. You know that you know, and and the beautiful thing is you know stories like this um, get around and. Somebody out there is like, did you hear what CM Punk's doing? Um, like WrestleZone, breaking news, CM Punk set to accompany Ronda Rousey for a debut match at WWE Extreme Rules. Now, for those not following wrestling or half of the podcast that I do, um, CM Punk is a guy that left on some pretty, uh, you know, not great terms, basically walked out of the company and has scathing talk on a podcast uh, about WWE and what he thought about them. Uh, in in not so many unkind words, Ronda Rousey just popped up. She's uh, probably the most badass chick in the UFC MMA right now, and recently popped up uh, doing a spot with The Rock at uh, at WrestleMania. Uh, so uh, so there's that, and they even went to the point where they created fake tweets from CM Punk and Ronda Rousey to support this argument. Um, but at least you know at the bottom, April Happy April First, guys. You know, have, having some fun with that. And they're not really a tech site or anything like that. But, you know, you're going to get this. This is a day where everybody gets to be the onion, right? Um, and it looks like uh, uh, Die, <laughs> Dying Light, which is kind of a really serious game, has some kind of a fun thing going on. Um, a video with this elephant uh, going on here. Uh, so, uh, you know, it, it's zombies. It's kicking zombies, and you got a cute um, uh, elephant going on. Uh, and I was really surprised to pop over to The Verge and, and to Polygon and not really finding a whole lot. Like, I haven't seen what the big Google thing is. Although, I did suspect, and I don't know if this is an April Fool's or just a fun just because, um, but Google Maps is actually letting you do street view, turn, turn your streets in your neighborhood through Google Maps into a game of Pac-Man. And if you haven't tried this yet, there's a way to do this, I think it said on Android, but generally you can go in and uh, load up Google Maps and you pop in here and uh, you got a little Pac-Man. You see a ready pops on screen, you click it through and all of a sudden you are Pac-Man. I'll give it a second to load here. And but you know, again, I don't I don't know if this is intended to be April Fool's in general. This actually came out you know, a lot yesterday. Um, but, uh, it, it really, it's really interesting. And they've generally been obsessed with Pac-Man. You get some interesting double streets and stuff, you know, like this. And now I think my, I think my, my, my arrows are all kind of screwy. There we go. And I got the cherry, you know, how do I, there we go. Cause these, these streets aren't really straight and I don't know what to do with them sometimes. Oh, there we go. Uh, now the fun part is where is this street going to come out? This is great for audio listeners. I know. Anyways, uh, but that's enough of that. I'm going to stop playing that. I'm going to stop playing that right now. Um, <laughs> but that's the kind of fun you get to have, that or when they, you turn the Google lo logo into that. And, and you know, again, kind of really surprised that Google didn't have anything. I didn't even see it. Hold on. Google.com. Google Doodle, maybe? No, they, we got nothing. Maybe that's the practical joke, is we're not going to do anything. Um, oh, wait a minute. I don't know. I just saw the uh, I'm feeling lucky moves, and I didn't know if it always did that. Uh, this one I saw from Microsoft, apparently. Uh, there was... Uh, <laughs> um, 
apparently uh, there, there's one going around of uh, Microsoft's putting out a DOS phone. And I uh, remember DOS was really the precursor to Microsoft Windows back in the day, the very you know non-graphical user interface. Um, so, I mean, that, that's kind of fun. Yeah, that's kind of fun. Um, but And actually going into a little bit more. And, and they, do, they do pop in a little bit. So it says Microsoft launches MS-DOS uh, Mobile to reboot its struggling smartphone efforts. Uh, going back to basics. And I don't know, again, in this, I don't, is this really... I don't think this was a little bit in poor taste, though. You won't see a Robin Williams hologram until at least 2013. Mm, I, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Uh, but uh, you know, they, 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 that's kind of rough considering you know the, the, the news behind you know Robin Williams in recent months and 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 how that happened. But um, but generally, uh, other than stuff like that, yeah, and there's stuff like that that can uh, you know be bad taste. Um, as, as people kind of try to push the envelope, we've had fun with it in the past. Um, you know, doing stuff like, oh, we just got acquired by WWE for our podcast, you know, ridiculous stuff, um, like that. And maybe I'll come up with something here through the day. Uh, but it's really, you know, the anatomy of a good, uh, April Fool's joke is not just like, oh, let's write something weird and put that out here. It's really kind of giving us some forethought, just like with anything, you know, I'm trying to get on, on board with this content calendar idea that I, I picked up from PodCamp. Um, and, and having that calendar and I had on my skin, my thing, let's do an April Fool's sale or something. Right. And I, I really, no good ideas came out and no, I, and you have to advance plan it. Cause if you're sitting there scrambling, scrambling on, uh, uh the evening of March 31st or the morning of April 1st, you know, it's not going to be too great. Um, but depending on where you're at and I could see doing, you know, something fun for, uh, the, uh, Sorgatron media, you know, maybe we have a uh, sawtooth Willie take over the site. Man, that's a good idea. Will's doing today um you know something like that now we have a character like that that we can kind of play with uh maybe you know make make him the guest editor for the for the day or do version oh i'm, I'm having such great ideas now uh we should add sawtooth willie do his version of every all the major podcasts that we do and put that out there and and put him in front of the green screen and have him present some of the stuff that we green screen and uh, uh it'd be so great and just fill the front of the page with all of these videos uh, would have been would have been really really fun, but again again it fell on right smack on you know my uh, uh, podcast day hangover day, uh, which is uh, that uh, I'm on a little sleep and uh, because I'm up late editing and still have to get up to you know take care of things and do this morning show and and, and have a work day, um, but uh, you know between that and and you know just the timing just timing in general you know uh, but this day is shot as far as uh, doing anything fun for that and and just the preparation um that's why it's good to do it in advance you know it's something i could done uh i have if i had the presence of mind we shot the second week in march and i could be like hey april fools come up let's do a thing you know let's have these podcasts and you know just do like a three minute version of each one as the character would have been i think a lot of fun so Anyways, uh, what do you think, April Fools? Uh, are you seeing any good April Fools uh, jokes on the web today? I'm sure Google's going to have something that just hasn't really surfaced yet, um, and uh, so I'm going to be on the lookout for all that kind of stuff. Huh? Yeah, because I'm like, like I'm already taking everything with a grain of salt because I'm looking at the headlines on the Verge. And it's like, these look serious. Wait, maybe they're a little too serious. I'm sure a lot of people are looking at this story about Amazon with their tiny buttons to bring you more detergent. Um, that's a, a prime thing. Um, I kind of wish, I kind of hope that's not a uh, April Fool's joke. But I think that was, uh, I think they were really getting into it yesterday. So, um, geez, I have a button that says Tide and I get more Tide delivered in two days. What? Is, how is that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but no, let me know what you think. Any good uh, April Fool's jokes uh, floating around out there today? Please hit me up at Sorgatron on the Twitter, and of course, comments over at Sorgatron.com, and subscribe to this over on YouTube and uh, iTunes and all the places. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.